Hello there. Welcome back to another in my series of soaps I recommend. And uh, tonight's brush is going to be once again my brush guy. Matthew, my blue Matthew Martin brush guy. Fantastic brush. 22 millimeter Virginia Shing silver tip. I'm going to set it here in the scuttle to soak. And this razor tonight is my Christopher Johnson near wedge. with flame maple scales and a paddock wedge. Lovely, lovely razor. And the soap tonight that I'm featuring is Razor Rock. Now, uh, Razor Rock I think of as exceptional in, in a couple of different ways. First of all, Razor Rock is really budget friendly, but Razor Rock is solid soap. Uh, it's it might not wow you with all the different types of scents, but there are a plethora of them, a huge amount of them, and every Razor Rock soap that I've ever used performs wonderfully well. So uh, for sheer performance versus uh, affordability, that kind of deal, Razor Rock is really hard to beat. This, what I'm using tonight is Napoleon's Violet. And this is a, a floral scented soap it's tallow. It's discontinued. You can't get it anymore, I don't believe. And it's just a lovely, lovely soap. Let's go ahead and move on down. And we'll start out the shave. I've got probably three days growth. Something like that. Anyway. Let's get my Arco and put him back up here where he needs to be. And we're going to go ahead and start the shave. This was gifted to me in a piff. And it's just a lovely violet scent. I'm, I don't know. Some of you probably know. But I am a, a floral nut. I like florals. Uh. Lots of guys don't, and I understand that, but I'm not one of those guys. I really enjoy the florals in whatever form they present themselves. But I like, a lot of times when a, a soap maker, particularly a shaving soap maker, is what I'm talking about. Uh, does a, a floral scent and I you find it a lot with lavender uh, they try to make it more masculine which is ridiculous it's it's floral uh, kings wore florals for hundreds of years before the modern day uh, men said oh that's not masculine anymore which is ridiculous but anyway they try to masculize it, if that's a word. They try to make it more masculine uh, by adding stuff like bergamot or sage or just things that actually literally destroy the floral scent or cover it up or or and it just to me that's like a pet peeve of mine because if I bought a floral shaving soap it's because I'm looking for that floral scent 
And I'm 53 years old. I don't give a flying hoot what anybody thinks about whether or not I use a floral scent or not. Uh, don't care. Not one tiny little bit. I love it. So lovely. Let's get the shoe on the road. Yeah, that's a really bad impersonation. <laughs> lovely, lovely lather. Oh, wonderful scent. Let me dry my hands. Lovely. I love a big fat wedge. I know it's weird. Uh, actually, I want to clear that out of the way because that's where I cut myself the last time I shaved. You know, I don't want to hit that again. But anyway, uh, my favorite grind It's full hollow or better, like or, uh, extra hollow, uh, bellied, just really thin edges. I love a full hollow blade, but, and everything else is eh, except for a wedge. I love a wedge. They plow right through many days of growth. Of course, I don't. I have any problem with heavy growth with a hollow grind. It's still they just so different. The shave is the feel is different. Uh, but I absolutely love wedges. That one It's shaving good, but it's going to need a refresh. Uh, I like to catch them before they get to tugging and pulling, and I can kind of feel, yeah, that one's ready for a refresh. I just got to remember whether I did. One layer of tape on that puppy or two. Lovely.
heel still nice and sharp too. Love that. I use a heel more than I do probably any other part of the razor. But you could you could do a lot worse. Then raise a rock there well worth the price. And that particular soap right there is just absolutely lovely. Drying off the razor. Sorry guys, I have a I have a habit of that before I even rinse or anything like that. Uh, cold water rinse, of course. Got a little weaver. Get him taken care of. All right. And I'm going to use Old Spice. This is Procter & Gamble. Uh, they've done something to the formula or something. Uh, this is weaker than it used to be. And I found one of the reasons... You shouldn't have to do that with this. Is that whatever ingredients they're using now, whatever emulsifiers or, or whatever it is that makes the components blend together, they must have changed because if I shake this up, it's good and strong like it always is. If I don't, you can't smell it. So when you apply it. So I have original Shulton Old Spice, vintage Old Spice, and I use that from time to time. This is a, a vintage decanter, but I have original Old Spice, or uh, PNG Old Spice in it. But it, it works, it still smells good to me. I've told you before, I like the Procter & Gamble scent just as well as the Shulton scent. They're just different. So, all right, bless you. Thanks for watching. Razor Rock. And if you come across Napoleon's Violet, I recommend that as well as any other Razor Rock you might come across. Uh, really good, solid performer at a really good price. Hard to beat. All right, God bless you. I'll talk to you later.